The kidneys are our body's filter. They eliminate toxins. They participate in the balance of various substances and allow the organ to function properly. You may know someone who undergoes hemodialysis. And if you don't know, I'll tell you, the quality of life of these people drops a lot. Imagine you are staying three hours per day connected to a hemodialysis machine for at least three times a week traveling. Practically impossible due to the logistics for this to happen. So today, we are going to talk about three foods that can damage your kidneys. You will be surprised that these foods are present in your daily diets. And at the end of the video, I will suggest some foods that, can, that you can introduce into your diet that will help your kidneys to function properly. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you like living a healthy lifestyle, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss a new video and click the like button. So let's start with the first food on our list, which is salt. Now salt is a seasoning that is very used in our kitchen and the salt we use is sodium chloride. This great villain here in history is sodium. A study was performed on salt consumption and kidney problems, which is a very important or is very important in correlation between the amount of sodium consumed and the formation and the development of chronic disease. That is people losing their kidneys. This association found that a direct injury that can cause in the kidneys because of excess sodium and also indirect because we know that excessive sodium consumption is the main cause of hypertension. In other words, high blood pressure corresponds to 25% of the cases. It is a second cause of chronic kidney disease. So in other words, it is the second disease that causes most people to lose their kidneys. So every time you consume excess sodium, you will be damaging your kidneys. Sodium consumption increases the formation of kidney stones. Every time you have an excess of sodium consumption, the kidney begins to increase the excretion of calcium. And this favors the formation and appearance of a kidney stone. So the ideal amount of sodium to consume is three grams of sodium chloride, which corresponds to five grams of salt. So if you're going to measure the salt, you should not consume more than five grams of salt daily, so as not to exceed the daily recommendation of the combined sodium intake. The second food is sugar that damage your kidneys. That's right, sugar can damage your kidneys. Every time you consume excess sugar, your body increases insulin production to keep it at normal levels. And our blood insulin is the main hormone that regulates the amount of glucose in our blood. This is what we call pre-diabetes. So when the patient has normal blood sugar levels, but has increased insulin levels, he starts to develop what we call insulin resistance. The body starts to resist the action of the hormone despite the blood sugar levels being normal or 
close to normality. This generates metabolic changes in our kidney, which will take more effort to do all the systematic regulation of our body. And if you continue consuming sugar, you will pass from the pre-diabetes stage to diabetes itself. And diabetes is the main disease that causes chronic kidney disease. So in other words, the disease that most makes people lose their kidneys is diabetes. Yes, diabetes accounts for approximately 40% of cases of chronic disease. That is, out of every 10 people, who lost their kidneys, four of them were due to diabetes. Refined sugar, this is the worst of them. Many people at this time must be wondering, but I do not consume sugar directly. But you have to remember that when you consume in your diet a lot of carbohydrates, such as bread, pasta, potato, all these foods are being digested, will turn into sugar. That's right. All carbohydrates, when metabolized, they become sugar in our blood. So today, a lot of persons have a diet that is very prevalent in the consumption of carbohydrates, which increases the glycemic levels, that is the amount of sugar in our blood levels that the body is not tolerating. So that is why we have more and more patients with pre-diabetes and diabetes itself. So you can consume carbohydrates, but in moderate amounts. Ideally, you can make a nutritionist calculate the amount that you need. And it is best to avoid excessive consumption of these type of food because they can indeed cause you to lose your kidneys. In third place, the third food on our list that damage your kidneys are the ultra processed foods. An ultra-processed food is any food that has added sugar, salt, any preservative, additive, fats that is being considered a processed food. Let's think about this example. Sasha, a 35-year-old woman, makes a one-day menu. She wakes up early in the morning and ends up eating bread and butter. In the middle of the morning, she decides to have a yogurt with some juice from a box. After all, she wakes up very early and she needs to have a meal there in the middle of the morning. Now at lunch, she has a slightly more balanced meal. She eats a piece of meat, rice, French fries, also half a glass of soda. In the afternoon, she eats a cookie, a cracker with another juice from a box. Now, when she gets home from work in the night, she is so tired. So instead of going and making some food or cook some food, she decides to eat one of those frozen lasagnas that we buy pre-made from the grocery store. Can you relate with this type of food that is consumed? In this diet, Sasha consumed at least seven ultra-processed foods. It is much easier for us to consume this type of food because it is easy to prepare. But the ultra-processed foods that she ate 
are these very foods that are in the routine of many of us day-to-day life. And I'm going to give you a list here of all the ultra-processed foods that you consume, starting from the most obvious ones to those that you probably think are not ultra-processed foods. So let's go. The first of them is instant pasta. Now, everyone knows that instant noodles, yes, with that ready-made seasoning, is an ultra-processed food. Next, the frozen lasagnas are also ultra-processed foods because it needs a lot of preservatives for these foods to be preserved. Third, she had soft drinks. Now, we know soft drinks are also ultra-processed foods. And a very important detail is that most soft drinks, they have phosphoric acid, which is an extremely harmful substance for the kidneys. And it greatly increases the chance of having a kidney stone. So soft drinks directly arms the kidneys. Other ultra food, ultra, ultra processed foods that she had, such as sausages and condiments and spicy foods, all these other foods, they contain a lot of additives that will harm your kidneys. And also it will increase the chance of having kidney stones. Combined with some of these types of foods, like what you would have like breakfast cereals, ice cream, cakes, biscuits, toast. Also sliced bread is considered a processed food because you need to put additives to make this food last longer. A study that was done showed that patients who consumed more ultra-processed foods had an approximately 25% greater chance of developing chronic kidney disease compared to those who did not consume ultra-processed foods. So yes, we have data from the medical field that prove that these foods are bad for people's kidneys. You must be wondering now, okay, wow, but I can't eat absolutely nothing. So let's replace this diet of processed foods with natural foods, which are foods that favor your kidneys. Yes, your kidney love these foods. Now the first of them are citrus juices. Obviously, the natural fruit juices should replace the ones that are in the box, the box juices that you bought in the stores. Because the box juices, most of them have a small amount of juice and have some preservatives to keep this juice good for a longer shelf life or for a longer time. So if you're going to buy any of these ready-made juices, make sure that it is whole because they contain a substance that helps prevent kidney stones from forming and helps your kidneys to be healthy. The second type of food is fruits and vegetables. No, natural foods are practically all good for kidney function. Another type of food is yogurt. Ah, but yogurt is not a processed food. Calm down. No, you need to look at the type of yogurt. I'm talking about the natural yogurt. Not those that have flavors. These yogurts are considered processed foods. Now, the plain yogurt, that one which has milk and yeast, 
This is a natural food and it can be used as a good source of calcium. It is considered a probiotic food that will help both in the health of your intestine and kidneys. Also, protein sources such as meat, egg, dairy, fish, white meat are all natural protein sources. So as long as they are not processed meats like sausage, salami, it will be good for your kidneys. Ah, but you may be saying, but which protein is bad? You may be saying protein is bad for the kidneys when you are consuming a lot of protein. That's where the danger is. But usually above two to three grams per kilogram per day. Yes, you can have a kidney overload. But in 90% of the diet, people do not reach the recommended protein consumption, which is one gram per kilogram per day. So on average, a person of 70 out of 75 kilos have to eat 70 to 80, up to 100 grams of protein, which is a quite a lot. And most people can't reach that because actually people substitute the protein for the carbohydrate that I mentioned above, which in turn will turn into sugar and it will be bad for your kidneys. So it is recommended that you increase your protein consumption if you want to have good kidney health. So these are just three types of foods that can hurt your kidneys or can damage your kidneys and lead to chronic kidney disease. Undergoing hemodialysis, this is an extremely dis disabling disease that will lead to a substantial drop in people's quality of life. And listen to me, you don't want to have chronic kidney disease. So take care of your health. Share this video with those who you think need this information. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.